Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we go again. We're continuing on on the restoration of the Santana 22. And what I'm going to do is I have finished up the kind of got that replacement piece of stainless 316 tubing all polished up and ready to go back on the boat. Today I'm going to try and get that thing drilled and tapped. And I got to be honest, I'm a little worried about that because I've never, I don't really know how to, I'm going to drill on, you know, hole through the side of the pipe. And once I get a tiny little pilot hole in there, it'll be fine. But um, hoping I can just ping a little dent in there and, and catch the drill bit in there. So we'll see how that goes. And then we should be able to get that reinstalled up on the front of the boat. And then kind of the next project at that point is if our 5200 sealant gets here, I'll seal all the through hole ports points where we put screws through to bolt that stainless stuff back down. And uh, I've got the winch on the back. I'd like to get back put back on, get the compass installed for good, and then get on the inside and start getting the wiring done. So we'll see how all that goes. Uh, let's tear into it. Alrighty, well I was a little worried about the stainless steel tubing to replace that piece, the bent piece. So this is the bent piece. That's a problem. And um, so I got my replacement piece and polished it up a little bit. And I have now drilled it and tapped it. And there's my end piece this was the one that was all bent up and I straightened it and see if I can do this left-handed there we go there's my screw it holds the whole thing together So it kind of surprises me every now and then. I really think something's going to be a nightmare of a job, and one, that's the one that turns out to be the easy one. That actually went pretty well. I got my $40 Harbor Freight cheapo tap and die set here, which did the job just fine, and um, so there we go. I'll drill my two little holes at the top for where the rivets go in. I'll probably wind up putting a little screw in there for now, and then I think it's time to go stand that thing back up on the front of the boat and see where it goes. So we're off and running to the top of the boat. Okay, well, West Marine finally got their act together. Got me my new light, nav light, red and green light for the front. And my 5200 sealant got here. So what I've done is I've got my compass mount here and I had to go get some shorter screws for that thing because I had number 10 three quarter inch screws and this wood will not take a screw that deep in there I don't know if it's just the grain is so tight that you can't the resistance just builds up and builds up so anyway I went with number 10 half inch screws I think I've got those in far enough now to get this mounted so I put some tape around the outside so I can put some of the 5200 sealant on the back here place that thing in place, screw it down nice and tight, let it cure for a bit, peel my blue tape off, that'll be sealed up. Uh, then we'll start on the screws I put through the front up there to put the stainless steel back on and my stanchions on the side and my chain plates to start sealing all this holes back up in this thing. So that's the order of the business for today's work. Let's get after it. Okay, well, I feel like I'm going to be able to add a new skill to my resume, and that is person who can put down blue tape around stuff so that the rest of the stuff doesn't get goopy. So, there is the main cabin top winch. Lift this off so you can see, not much to it. And obviously it'll need a fresh little blast of grease, but it is screwed down, bolted back in, and has the 5200 sealant around it. Sam and I worked on all the front of the boat yesterday, so we have all this 
stainless steel mounting points sealed up with our 5200. I just squirted some in around the top of the chain plates and I put a little under from the bottom. Can't really see much there. I have got my wiring ready to be placed there. So here's the bottom of where that winch bolts up. Just a bunch of bolts through the top of the hole, top of the cabin, whatever. So um, anyway, I think maybe tomorrow might be a wiring day. And um, like I said, I think I said earlier, I've been looking on Cabela's website and it looks like they've got a little stereo head to go in there. And then uh, the mahogany strips down the back of the cabin are next. So here's the compass fully installed. Let's have a quick look at that. So now we know which direction we're pointing. I think overall that turned out okay. So um, that's where we're at for tonight. It's a weekend again, Labor Day weekend, so I'll be laboring on the boat all weekend probably. I doubt it, we'll probably go somewhere. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update on where we're at so far, so that's it for today. All right, well, welcome back. It's uh, still the Labor Day weekend. It's Sunday today. And um, I just thought I'd show you where I'm at. So I'll run up in the boat in a minute and show you how the progress I've made. I've got the wiring run through for the front nav light and the main kind of big power cord pulled for the cabin lights. What I did is I ran a piece of PVC pipe, I'll show you up from the where the switch box goes, up through that forward bulkhead, and then I put heavier wire in there, and then I'll bring both of the cabin lights down to that and just join to that heavier wire with smaller wire going up to the two individual lights. And I have that run all the way from the front nav light back to the switch pulled and ready to go. This is the old switch panel, so I had had to kind of build this one you know, wire all the thing from scratch. I noticed that I've got a broken switch in this. And um, so what I did is I ran down to Cabela's today and just picked up a new one. I'm just gonna put a new switch panel in there because this one's kind of all pre-wired and mine was all done by hand and was all gnarly. So I'm gonna do that, get that all wired up. I picked up a couple of non-essentials at Cabela's, obviously, the, it's a good thing that store's not that close to me. I got a little companionway LED light. Not sure where I'm going to put this yet, but I'm thinking like right next to the switch panel inside, so I can flick on a cabin light switch and have this on, or have it on its own accessory switch. And then I also picked up... A, a socket with two USB ports in it. Seems like we can never have too many USB ports with everything we got these days that needs charging. Everything needs charging. I got, you know, the camera, the GoPro batteries, the phones, the drone batteries, the big camera batteries. I put a couple of extra USB ports in the back of the pickup, back where I wired, brought the wiring back for the fridge. So I've got a gauge there and I have two a place to plug in USB there to charge stuff. So it just seems like everything can be charged off USB. So I thought, well, while I'm doing this, might as well stick a couple in the boat. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll pull my old dead battery out of there. I'll run down to the car shop and just pick up a new battery. I've got a battery box for it. So uh, we're coming right along. I, I'll show you what I've done up in there where I've kind of glued up some wire loom across the front of the boat and back from the switch panel forward through the bulkhead I put down a piece of PVC pipe just small PVC kind of glued it down in there with that that uh, stuff from the store <laughs> anyway the stuff the adhesive silicone sealant yeah that's it so anyway Jesus I need more coffee I can't swear on this, can I? Nope, I can't. Well, all right, I did. I'll bleep that. Sorry. So anyway, um, we're cruising right along. It's Sunday. It's starting to get hot. 
so I might have to take the dogs out for a run up somewhere where they can play in a stream or something before too long. But I'm going to tear into the switch panel and see if I can get that set up. So I'll check back with you when I think I've made some progress there. All right, welcome back. We're inside of the boat now, and I told you I would give you a quick glimpse of what I did to run my wiring. So up in the gap up there is my loom from the nav lights forward. Here's my wires for this cabin light. I'll do the same thing over here for this cabin light. I've got <clears throat> a little extra cable laying down here right now, but I'll pull that through and then my two heavier lines to get my cabin lights all off the same line here. And then I'll run a new set of power for the stereo and a new set for the charger over there. I think where I'm going to put that charger is right here in the corner. I think that'll be <clears throat> out of the way. And yet you could, you know, lay the phone up there on the cabinet cabinet. So then in the compass, I've got, let's see if I'm making sure I'm looking at the compass with you. I've got the compass light there. And I bought the little courtesy entrance light, this little dude, which I think may go right down there by the switch panel. So then I will take my outdoor waterproof switch, which I can't seem to get my hands on right now. And I think what I'll do is I'll put it outside so that from out in the cabin, you'll be able to turn on and off the compass light. Obviously, it'll have to be on down here on the fuse panel, but you'll have a switch out there for the compass light, switch out there for that little companionway light. And I'm contemplating putting the companionway light out in the cabin out there. So I'll decide on that later. But um, so there's the plan and my little cheat sheet of everything here can't read that and I know I spelled light wrong but that's my little plan is I know I need a, a power for the nav lights up front and probably the back one as well the stern light there I need one for the cabin lights and the radio although I might put those on the same circuit and because the cabin lights have switches on them so this radio would have power when you turn on the ca cabin light and that would free up one for a stand-up anchor light somewhere. Not sure where that would go yet, but I should really have a post anchor light for it when we're at anchor. So that's the only thing that might change a little bit is I might decide to wire the cabin and the cabin lights and the radio together and do a stern light for when we're at anchor. So there we go. Wiring is going to commence, although it is hot today. I've got a little fan in here blowing. I shut it off while I was filming, so you wouldn't hear me sounding over, fighting over the thing. But um, I don't know if I'm going to make it much longer. It's getting pretty dang hot, so I might have to take a break and go up in the mountains with the dogs for a run or something. So anyway, I'll check back in a while when I've made some further progress. Good thing about this heat is I, where I've glued down, I'll show you real quick down here in the in the bottom there. You can see I've got my PVC run back to here and here's all my cables that are going to come out and they basically go right here through this hole which is where my switch goes. Then my battery, I picked up a battery, it's ready to go back under there. So I'll run my two big wires here back to the battery and then I can start to make sure this stuff works as I'm hooking it up. And so it's always good to know stuff is working. So there we have it, let's keep going. All right, well, I thought I'd just come out here and give you a quick little tour of how the electrical work took shape here. So I didn't really have a great place to put this waterproof switch box. So I just stuck it in a direct line underneath the compass and the inclinometer thing so that as the ropes are coming over, they'd kind of be out of the way of it. So I'll look, I'll give you a look at that. 
Well, that's here. So there's the, don't know if that's showing up very good. Compass light. Oh, courtesy light. So I got the compass light and the courtesy light wired up, so let's go inside. <clears throat> okay, well, here we are inside the boat. So the switch box is here. Over here, I've got the gauge that I had. I think I might have shown you that already. That's the gauge that I had from the work I did on the truck. If I turn on the cabin lights, you can see I've got cabin lights, including one up here in the forward berth, all the way forward from the rest of the back of the boat, which is all the way back. But anyway, so the light in there, I had a little trouble getting my cushions to lay flat. They're tough to get back in those things, but that'll work itself out. I took all the tape down from my wire loom. It's all sealed up pretty well. I may put what I did after I got it in there. I don't know if you can see this very well. But. Sorry for the phone ringing. But. So I took, I took the, I had the silicone behind the wire loom and then I took a bead of it along the edges so it really glue it in there and I'm going to do that along that, that edge up there same thing I've done it over here and it ain't going anywhere you know it's just not going anywhere so I think that's going to work out all right so stereo is in Stereo works, USB charger works. Everything's just hunky-dory. Everything worked out pretty well. Nothing didn't work. Well, let's shut that off so we don't get a bunch of music going while we're talking. But anyway, everything went perfectly well when I wired everything up. It all worked just the way it was supposed to. So that's exciting. So stern lights it and then wiring's done, electrical's done. Back up on top we will be. So I'm gonna wrap this up for now. I'll see you around next week.